Welcome to Mackenzie Creations. In this video, I am going to go over a traveler's notebook that I created. And I was very interested in these when I saw them um, on Vienna Creates and she's a um, crafting YouTuber and she actually have a swap going on with these traveler notebooks and so I was just so fascinated but I didn't want to participate in the swap because I had never done one before so what I did was I um, purchased all the equipment I would need to make these and the materials and then I just practiced with this mock-up um, before I um, entered into swapping with someone the last swap they did was a Christmas swap um, using this 5x7 traveler's notebook um, the new swap um, which is already closed I did enter to do that one and it's for fall and Halloween themed swap and so this one she actually changed the dimensions to a tra uh, passport size so we actually had to create two um, notebooks so basically they're cut in half so um, yeah that was a little bit intimidating for me because you know I had just worked on making this one and then I had to to do um, two of them with different dimensions so um, it was a lot of work I must say but I'm glad I um, stuck with it and um, it was nice learning how to do these but um, before we go and look at the inside of this um, I just wanted to go over the mistakes I've made um, because um, that's very important the biggest mistake I made was not paying attention to the pattern when you cut your paper. And so um, I had cut all my paper down to the dimensions and then I realized like my flowers, you know, instead of going up and down, they're going sideways. So let me just bring a piece of paper over so you can see. Um, maybe I'll do this, I'll do the same color so you can see. So on this piece of paper, you have the flowers going up and down. So that's how it comes. It comes on a 12 by 12 sheet and it goes um, from top to bottom. And what I did was I just took this paper and cut it down to make my, um, to make my cover and then the inserts inside. So um, what happened was when I folded it over, now you see that the flowers are going sideways. And so I didn't even realize that until after, like I said, after I cut everything. So, um, yeah, if that's the one tip I can give you, just kind of um, pay attention to that if you're going to be using pattern paper and um, do a practice cut first because it's better to waste one sheet of paper than to waste a lot of paper. And luckily, um, because I'm using flowers, it doesn't look too bad, but if you were you know doing a pattern that's specific um, you might run into an issue there so um, let me just show you the correct way or the way I did it so I use this paper pad by um, I purchased this from crafters companion and um, I'm just gonna tear a piece of paper out and I, I don't have any more of the light blue paper but I think I have some different colors using that same pattern. Okay, yeah, let me just tear this out. And so that was a valuable lesson I learned even when like doing this other swap I entered into. I used pattern paper, so um, yeah, I learned my lesson. So when you tear your piece of paper out, just don't go into the cutting board and cut. You actually have to take this now and you have to um, you have to score it in half okay and now you can see by doing this that your flowers and everything are going the right direction so you'll actually have to cut your card down um, from this way right here so I would just cut this down to like five by seven and um, it worked out um, on the other designs that I did so um, that was just a little quick tip some of the other problems that I ran into was um, my cutting board um, because I create single cards for projects 
um, the cutting board I have is okay for creating a card. However, if you're creating a traveler's notebook or any type of notebook and you're going to be cutting paper that's thick, you really need to have a decent cutting board. And so I do need to invest in one because I was not really particular about how my cutting board cut the papers um, when doing this project. So um, those were the main things that I ran into. Um, it takes a lot of time when you're first starting out. Once you get the hang of it, it becomes easier and it'll become quicker to you. So um, let's go ahead and get started and looking at the inside of this. So we have an outside band right here and you can decorate this with beads or any type of um, embellishments that you want. I just have it plain. But when I um, present my swap for the fall and Halloween, I do have a, a decorative clip that I made out of paper and foam. So you'll see that. But let's just open this up here. So what I did was I just used the same paper, but different color and um, made like a notebook. So um, I have three notebook inserts and then I made one out of this nice peachy pink paper and I just use plain paper for all of these but um, you can use any type of paper like in other journals I have um, have like lined paper you can put like a calendar or a to do list or anything you come up with this right here is my dashboard and what I did was I used just a regular plain sheet of paper and then I just took some of the um, scraps that I had left over when I cut um, my papers from you know like the cover or the notebook inserts and um, I just put them here and then I added um, a pen I created this paper clip um, holder for the pen and all this is is um, taking elastic and then just gluing it to a paper clip. So um, there's plenty of videos out on YouTube um, that'll show you how to do these. But that came out nice. And then I made a folder. And then this is a um, bookmark. And so I just need to really just put a little hole in here. And you can put a little tassel or something like that. Or just leave it plain. You don't have to have that. And then just some little um, smaller bookmarks. So I'll stick these back in the folder. And then this is my last little notebook. So that's it for this traveler's notebook. Um, yeah, I had fun making this. Um, I always like to try new things. And, um, and it was interesting learning how to make these. Um, I'll provide the link to Vienna Creates and you can um, search her um, channel for um, the Traveler Notebooks um, because these are the dimensions and things that she gave. So, um, you know, if you want to take a look, you can um, go to her channel to see. But um, yeah, I have fun making. Take care and see you in the next video.